What goes on in the shadows? We like to think that everything is right in front of us, that there couldn't be some big secrets lying behind everything that happens, that there isn't a secret government that's been manipulating the whole world. I mean, maybe there's not, but there has been so many rumors throughout the years that it's hard to believe that there's not a single one out there. Hello, Most Amazing Top 10 family. I'm your host, Chay Arena, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Today, we're gonna be diving into a list of the top 10 scary secret societies. If any of you at home would like to check out some more Most Amazing Amazing top 10 content, then you should check us out on Instagram and Facebook and stick around until the end of this list because I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs, which you guys love so much. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram without taking any longer. Let's get into this list. Coming in at number 10, we have the Knights Templar, one of the most powerful military forces and financial forces in history. The Knights Templar was simply something made up to keep the Holy Land safe during the Crusades and make sure that the land of God stayed in their power. They eventually grew in numbers and wealth. They eventually became so powerful that they had fleets of ships and armies of men, not to mention they were immune to any law and only had to answer to the Pope. Their wealth was so great that they would loan out money to kings and some kings they would deny financial aid. And this could have been part of the fact that they would only give funds to who they thought was worthy and also they wanted to flex their financial power over people. But eventually this would be their downfall. In the 1300s, they refused to loan out money to King Philip the fourth and he started to dismantle them he would kidnap torture and publicly execute all of the templars he could get his hands on before he did this he would make sure he made them confess to crimes that they didn't commit coming in at number nine we have the black hand it was a secret group that may have kicked off one of the biggest events in human history they were structured back at the beginning of the 20th century they had one goal they wanted to see all the slavic countries stop fighting and come together as a force this is bold but not crazy this is what genghis khan did to make the greatest conquering fleet the world has ever seen this organization was created by a group of serbian rebels that were tired of the encroaching influence of Western Europe. They had a plan to create turmoil through assassinations, and were they ever good at it? They were able to attack royal Slavic families, and for those of you who aren't familiar with what they have done, they were behind the murder of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, which sparked the start of World War II. Coming in at number eight, the Grand Orange Lodge. Now, not all secret societies are evil. A lot of them were just made as safe havens for people from different classes, religions, or creeds to get together and discuss their thoughts without being prosecuted by the outside world. The Grand Orange Lodge was made up by Protestants in Ireland for Protestants in Ireland. They could all congregate and not worry about being chased down for having a slightly different Christian view. Now, the reason that this is on a list of scary things is because eventually they were found out. A local newspaper was actually a supporter of their gatherings, and the head of the newspaper, as well as many members of the club, were secretly arrested. This also led to the outlawing of secret societies in Scotland. In the end, the lesson here is that the men will try to come down on you no matter how peaceful you are. Coming in at number seven is the Quill and Dagger Society. Universities are hot spots for secret societies. It's a perfect trap. You have young budding minds who just want to fit in. You give them the opportunity to be part of something, but only if they join your weird secret cult. The Quill and Dagger was relatively unknown for quite some time, but then they changed that when they took a very strange turn for something that's supposed to be a secret. They started to publish the names of all their members in a book and even have social media accounts for the club. The worst thing attached to their history was an incident in the 90s when they were accused of finding members petitioning for minority rights and removing them from the club. Coming in at number six, we have the Freemasons. This secret society goes all the way back to the Middle Ages. They were originally a group of craftsmen who needed a way to identify each other and made a mark to determine a certain level of craftsmanship. But that's not where the story gets interesting. Where it really kicks off is when the secret society works its way into America. It has been there ever since the country was founded. 13 of the 39 people who signed the Constitution were all members of the Freemasons. Now there hasn't been anything dastardly that can be directly connected to them unless you go into the world of conspiracy theories. Then you can call up the legend of Winston Churchill, who was a member of the Freemasons. People say that he sacrificed men during World War II and did it under order of the Freemasons to increase the tragedy of the war so more eyes would be on the war. But this is just a myth and has never been proven. But the fact that so many important people from history have been a part of this group will make you raise an eyebrow. 
Coming in at number five, we have the Skull and Bone Society. Rooted in American history and connected to Yale, one of the great Ivy League schools in the United States, this society has a dark history that has worked its way into the highest levels of government. Both George Bush Sr. and George Bush Jr. were members of the Skull and Bone Society. So I think it's safe to say that this club is very powerful. Some people think only the best, brightest, and richest people who attend this Ivy League school are able to walk through the doors of this secret cult. Some of the darker things that have been directly linked to the group of men who have allegiance to this place are the creation of the atom bomb and the assassination of JFK. Knowing that they've pushed several of their members into presidential power, I wouldn't be surprised if they had the power to also kill a president. Coming in at number four is the Hashashin. Let's go back through time to what was basically a super cool league of assassins. The Hashashin was a group of skilled Islamic mercenaries who would carry out hits on high level targets. And we are not messing around when I say high level. This was back in the 11th century, so they were taking out kings, queens, generals of armies, and religious figureheads. They were able to operate in the shadows, and by doing so, they could sneak into a place, take out a target without causing a massive war. After the person was dead, however, it might have stirred up something a little violent. Unfortunately, a lot of the information on this ancient society was lost because one of the great libraries containing knowledge on their work was burned to the ground. They used to do that a lot back then. So most of the information is lost forever. Coming in at number three, we have the Illuminati. You can't make a list of secret societies without putting these guys on the list. I mean, they might be behind everything bad that has ever happened. Lost one of your socks in the dryer? Oh, that was the Illuminati. Did Lay's put even less chips in the bag again? Illuminati, for sure. Well, they were started back in 1776, and the thing is, the reason they were created was actually pretty good. They wanted to create a source of education for people to learn about science instead of religion. Well, the church hated this and crushed them, and rumor is that they just went into hiding and they decided, if you can't beat them, become them. People say that they've worked their way into every high-level position in major industries. They got into music, movies, oil, and even government. They want nothing more than to see a suffer and to see themselves get richer. Coming in at number two, we have the Bilderberg Group. It's a grouping of some of the most powerful people in the world and nothing that goes on in there is allowed to be shared with the media. Yeah, I'm sure nothing sinister has happened behind those doors. The original meeting was made in the 1950s and it seemed to have a positive incentive. There was a lot of tension between America and Europe. This event was to bring together some of the world leaders and attempt to quell those tensions and to make healthier relationships between world leaders. Now what's some of the rumors say about this is that it's basically a meeting of the ultra rich and connected to meet up and talk about how to take over the world. There have been several reporters who have gone to investigate the Bilderberg group and have either gone missing or died mysteriously. There's connections with the groups and assassinations of world leaders and the creation of the European Union. I mean, in the end, I don't think any of us trust the super rich, but if they weren't doing anything sinister behind those closed doors, then why can't we find out what they are talking about? If they meet to discuss things that affect the whole world and they are indeed world leaders, then shouldn't we be allowed to know what's going on in there? Seems kind of important. And coming in at the number one spot, we have Anonymous. This would be the definition of a new age secret society. The thing is, none of us know if Anonymous is real or who they are, but let's say they are real. I mean, they have done some very real things like releasing confidential files and hacking into police databases. Here's what we do know about Anonymous. They seem to be on the side of the people and are anti-establishment. Every time they hack into something, it's to help the common person against the massive machine that puts its boots on the necks of those below it. They seem to be a group of high-level hackers that have found a way to collect and release very sensitive information. They also love the V for Vendetta mask. I think it can be frightening because it seems that they have the power to access any sort of digital information. But as long as you're not a horrible person hiding secrets on some hard drive, then you should have nothing to worry about. All right, everyone, that has been our list. And as promised, I'm going to be doing some more pet shoutouts. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. I pick new pets every day. So if you don't get picked one day, you can message back another day. If it takes me a little while to get back to you, I am very sorry, but a lot of these do. And without taking any longer, let's shout out some pets. First up, we have the super cute Poochie Bella who's having a very nice nap. Then we have the cute cat Toner who looks like he's chilling and watching TV. After that, we got Mystery who looks like a very talented artist. Next, we have Caramel who looks like the best cute boy of all time. And to close it out, we have this amazing guinea pig, RJ. All right, everyone, that is all we have for you today. I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I've been Shade Arena, and keep looking over your shoulder. Bye. The Grand Orange Lodge was made up by Protestants in Ireland. The Grand Orange Lo the Grand Orange Lodge was made up by Protestants in Ireland for Protestants in Ireland. They could all congregate and not worry. They could all congregate. They could all congregate and not worried about being.
they could all congregate and they, they could all congregate and not worried. They could all they could all congregate and not worried worry.